can't help but notice that isn't your typical radio in your hands, Matthew. What is that hideous thing? That's my uh, AMFG uh, series uh, guitar. Everything's uh, high rates. Yep. <laughs> Here we have Matthew from MBMRC with a plane that I actually kind of always wanted. And next thing I know, little fella ended up with one. So he's going to tell you a little bit about the plane and his uh, retro radio here today. So go ahead and tell us about it, Matthew. This is a uh, Great Plains uh, Easy Sport 40. It's an ARF. I, got, I bought the ARF. They didn't have the kit whenever I got this. But it's Great Plains version of a uh, Lou, Andrew, Lan, Lou, Lou Andrews X-ray. Uh... They came out in uh, 1980, and I figured I might as well do it up old school instead of, because this, I mean, it looks exactly like the X-ray. So I got the uh, 80s radio, that's a Futaba FG series, AM radio, bought it on eBay for 70, 70 bucks. And that came with the servos and everything, right? It came with the servos, receiver, crystal. Of course the battery was bad so i bought a new battery from futaba they still have the style battery that it takes uh just rewired uh the switch so i could use a regular uh nimh 448 in it uh it's got a 80s como 40 in it i also bought from ebay but i paid for like 40 dollars for it it was brand new in the box it's still not broke in but uh Supposed to last a really long time. It's Como is just an off brand of Super Tiger. It's what they was going like off to the side of a Como engine. But uh, really, uh, pretty strong at uh, 40. It's uh, weight's pretty good. It's not real heavy, not super light, but it's uh, got the uh, standard Super Tiger style muffler. It's got the header where you can adjust the uh, angle and how far out you want the muffler. But uh, plane flies pretty good I mean it's on I don't know how it would be on a you know a new 2.4 radio where you could really dial some stuff in but I mean doing it up old school I can only do so much what uh for those people that don't know what's this hideous uh, guitar string you have hanging off the back of it here that's my intent yeah back in the old days you would have to drill your hole through the side there run your uh antenna up wrap your rubber band around with a little screw at the top of the rudder but uh, it's just a good old uh, reliable uh, setup. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what are these flags for on the uh, the radio? Why is that antenna so tall? That's the uh, frequency of the uh, radio. The uh, crystal has to match the 54. So you have to back in the day you'd have to get uh, a, a 54 crystal and plug it into the receiver. So far, I've, I've had this plane since 2018. I haven't had any glitches with the AM radio. So, I mean, it's just standard Futaba reliability. Now, these uh, trim these trim on here, um, those are kind of where you, they, they stay where you put them. They don't, uh, they don't have any sort of memory whatsoever. No, so no, no. That, if, if I was the bump lat like that, I'd, once it goes back up, what guys used to do, actually, is they would count the clicks. So, if they had more than one airplane, they would... Right down the plane, they would count the clicks of what the plane took. 
but it was just this one plane I just you know just go up and just readjust it uh, my throttle isn't quite dialed in so what I have to do is if that's all if my uh, idle trims all the way up it's kind of running a little under half throttle so I have to kind of play with that and the stick at the same time especially bringing it in you have to really uh, really judge that but uh, what noise does it make whenever you move the trim it doesn't make any noise. It's, uh, <laughs> I mean, you can beep if you want to, and you're going to do no good. Uh, the thing that I found with these older radios and the equipment that they came with, they were super heavy duty, a lot more heavy duty than, than they are today. The switch for, like, the airplane, the plastic cover for the switch, it's super heavy duty. They're nice heavy duty switches, big switches. Yeah. Uh, the radio is a... Uh, metal case really heavy duty it came with what they should still do is have the uh, handle on the back of them you can use them as a kickstand or you can fold them up and you can have them as a handle what i found is whenever you're flying with them you put your hands behind there like that it's really comfortable yeah the sticks are super high compared to what we have today but the gimbals are smooth uh are they hall effects by chance no uh <laughs> The other cool thing with this radio is you can unscrew this antenna, push it all in, and you can store it right in the side there. So that way, if you have a tight spot in a cabinet or something, you don't have enough room with it all the way folded down. You can just push it, push it inside there. It has like a little clicker in there. Whenever you want it out, you just push out and it comes hmm. out. Really cool uh, radio. Well, I'm sure when we post this, it'll bring quite a few of those older guys back, and they'll be talking about it. Uh, not a whole lot of fancy uh, three position switch. I got uh, gear and, and trainer, which the, the trainer port is massive. <laughs> yeah. But uh, just an old school uh, setup on a, on a new airplane. Well, that's pretty cool, Matthew. This is uh, how you would reverse your servos. Back in the day, they had these little switches back here. You would reverse them with those little switches, and you can see how high quality the radios were even back in the 80s is where this came from but you can see how nice the wiring and stuff is really clean install it's a pretty well made radio how hard was it to get that back cover off not real hard just pops in you just slide it like that and push it there you go I do think I need a new plug. Yeah. Don't be afraid to fly with your old AM. Um, these do uh, just as good as the new radios. Maybe a glitch here and there. I haven't had one yet, though. Well, if you have one, I'll be the one recording it. I have had glitches, though, with my uh, my first radio was a Futaba T6A. And it was actually a computer uh, 72, but, uh, and it was FM, so. I, I think did I have lost you. I had uh, some glitches with that, but. It's definitely something to get used to with these ones. 